Hi, Chris Abel here from Metro News, and we're going to dive into the cool Canadian paleontologist codes I created for LEGO Jurassic World as part of my review. I've gotten a lot of fantastic feedback on this, as well as a number of questions. So in this video, I'm going to show you first how to use the codes, and then for those who don't have access to a game or a system, we're going to play some video highlights that show what it's like to play as Phil Curie, Dave Evans, and Lisa Buckley. So the first thing is you have to play the game, and I mean you need to get to the very end before it will unlock features like using codes. There's all four Jurassic Park movies are represented, and if you're really experienced you might be able to do them all in about 12 to 14 hours. If you've never played a game before this could take as long as 20 to 25 hours. Why would they make you go through all of that? and wait before you could access things like codes. I'm thinking they just want you to play the game at least once the way they designed it before you muck around and make changes. If it were up to me, I'd only ask you to play it for a couple of hours before unlocking these features. Well, here's the thing. If you can get to the end of the game, this is what you get. A big explorable theme park based on Jurassic World with lots of streets and lots of activities to explore. What you're looking for is the visitor center. It's in here that there are tool sets to create custom people as well as dinosaurs, although sadly it's the people that have the greater selection of parts. Once inside, you're looking for two dressing rooms. These are where you can store different character models. It doesn't matter which one you enter for our purposes, just go inside and choose an empty slot. And then from there you're looking for the DNA symbol on the menu. This is where you can access the codes and input the ones that I've created. You'll notice that it's kind of like DNA. As you're going through the different letters, you're turning on and turning off different physical attributes. And as you start to complete the strain, you're going to slowly see Lisa Buckley start to appear. The one thing that the codes can't do is carry forward a name. So when you're done, it's going to be up to you to go in and label this character model as Lisa Buckley. The good news is you can continue to customize this model. If you want to change her clothes, you can do that. My recommendation, though, is to go in and change her occupation. My code, of course, makes her a paleontologist, but if you want, you can go in and turn her into a hunter, an explorer, or even a computer hacker. You could create uh, an army of Lisa Buckley clones, each one with different skill sets. And by doing so, you can have her model play all the different activities within the game. Just a reminder, my codes represent three prominent paleontologists in Canada, starting off with Phil Curie from Alberta, representing the Royal Tyrell Museum and the University of Alberta. There he is, as well as Dave Evans from the Royal Ontario Museum, big expert on ceratopsian dinosaurs, and Lisa Buckley from the Peace Regional Paleontology Research Centre in British Columbia. Enjoy. Oh, I can feel it. There's a raptor right under here. Yep, I am bang on target. I just gotta keep digging for a couple of more minutes. Just a little further. Oh, come on! It was there? I was so close! I'll be extinct by the time I get this thing out. Yeah. A jackhammer? Oh, now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Uh, that might need some assembly. Remember. Dr. Settler and Grant want us to be especially careful when digging up this fossil. As I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just bringing a sandblaster. Uh. 
Bushes straight ahead. It's all right. <laughs> 